Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going through the modules, the command line uh, tutorials uh, called uh, Learning Node, and it comes from nodeschool.io. It's really cool. Uh, we're learning a lot about Node.js, which is the bedrock for making full stack applications in JavaScript. So if you know Node, um, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so we're coming close towards the end of this uh, program right here. Uh, right now we're on the 10th challenge time server and uh, dagnabbit, I always do that. Uh, so uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, pause the video, read all of the hints and the instructions. Uh, this one is you know more straightforward. It's a, it's a lot easier, I think, than the last challenge, uh, juggling the uh, asynchronous uh, functions, uh, but there are a lot of details that we need to be aware of. So take a moment, make sure that you um, have a, a good understanding, and then when you're ready, come back and uh, we will code along. Okay, so um, one thing I just want to mention uh, before we continue is that um, for each connection you have to write the uh, time followed by a new line. And the first time I did this challenge I did not include the new line character and it was failing all the tests and I, I thought I had like this big bug but uh, really it was just something so simple. So don't forget the new line character and if I forget it in the video please tell me. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's just uh, clear that out right here. Uh, we're going to go um, to our code editor and uh, let's open up. I create a new file beforehand. It says 10 time server. And uh, I know that uh, we're not going to use HTTP. We're going to use this net module. So I'm going to require it in. And uh, because we're going to be dealing with date and time objects, um, I just wanted to, you know, make something as simple as possible, just something really easy. And uh, there's a really popular library for date and time objects, and it's called moment.js. So if you go to moment.js.com, uh, click on their docs, there's like tons of awesome methods for dealing with date and time objects in JavaScript. Ooh, excuse me. But um, we're only going to use like a, a couple of methods uh, from this library to just to make the um, the formatting at the time like a lot easier. So um, um, take a look at it in your own time. But um, let's go to our terminal. Let's run npm install moment. And I have already installed it, but uh, you run this command. And when it has finished installing, we'll go back to our code editor and require it in. Moment. Just require moment. All right, perfect. And uh, let's store the port number from the command line argument. So const port uh, process.argv, and it's the second element uh, right there, or rather the third element. All right, perfect. And we're going to create a new variable, const server, debt, not create server. It's going to take a callback with one argument, a socket response. And we're going to tell our server to listen on our particular port. Okay, great. All right, and so uh, we have our socket right here, and we're just going to write the current time and followed by a new line character. So I'm going to create a new variable called time, and I'm going to call moment and invoke it. So that gets the current uh, date and time. Um, it's just like instantiating a new, you know, date time object. So nothing crazy like that. Then I'm going to call format, which is another method from uh, the moment uh, time library. And uh, check this out. It's going to be so cool. I'm going to give it a string. Y, 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 Y. Okay. To represent the year. And then day, day to represent the, uh, um, or sorry, mm to represent the month and day day. And it's cool because uh, I'm using mm and dd, uh, so it's going to automatically put the, uh, the zero in front of them. Um, so it takes care of all the formatting for us. We don't have to do it ourselves. And then I believe it wanted the hour and then the current minute. So uh, lowercase, lowercase h, colon, mm, and that should give us the military time all the way up to, to 23. Okay, so I am going to write it to the socket, socket right time, and then I will add a new line character, okay, and close the connection. And I can do that in one fell swoop like this. I'll do a backslash n. Okay, perfect. And I think we're good to go. Let's just save that. Let's go to the terminal. 
learn your node a verified 10 time server let's run that okay and looks great looks like it passed all the tests awesome and you can see right here uh, without using moment we would have to instantiate or new object and then run all of these methods to get the uh, the the year and the month and the date and everything and then uh, to fill it in with a zero we'd have to create or like our own little function so it, you know it's definitely possible not to use moment but you know i'm lazy so i'm just going to do whatever is the easiest so moment when you have to deal with date and time it is a fantastic library okay so i told you this challenge was uh was a lot easier the last video was like 17 minutes this is only taking about six so uh anyway we're done with this let's uh take a break and in the next video we'll um uh, keep uh, we'll keep uh, going along and we will be doing the HTTP file server. So that should be really fun. Okay, we'll stop here and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.